Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to Old RPG Gaming for episode 2 of Pokemon Pikachu Edition. Pikachu G G Pik Yellow version. There we go. We got there in the end. Let's go ahead. It's time to continue our adventure. Now, if you remember at the end of the last episode, we managed to catch ourselves a female Nidoran. We managed to catch ourselves a male Nidoran, a level 5 Mankey. And we got Pikachu to a pretty decent level, so uh, the first episode was a success. But, of course guys, we are hoping to build on that right now. Let's go and catch ourselves a brand new Pokemon to add to our Pokedex. We've been taking them down, like, literally, like, BOOM! And taking them down. So, what we're probably going to have to do here is just switch Mankey into lead position. Uh, this way, you know, we're not going to one-shot these Pidgeys that we come across. Let's look for like a level 4 and let's try and add him to our collection. Level 3 Pidgey, prepare to go down. That is an absolutely awful graphic for Mankey, <laughs> but it is the graphic for Mankey nonetheless. We're just gonna have to scratch away at him here. There we go, critical hit for critical hit. Nice bit of experience for Mankey. PG level three. Damn it. Unless, of course, probably later in the game we're going to be running a little bit more, but, you know, at least for these first, I don't know, say like ten episodes, we shouldn't really be running away. We want to try and fight everything that comes up build up that experience. Um, obviously this is like the original Pokemon game, so you can't like re-challenge trainers or do anything like that, but... Well, that just goes to show, it makes it even more important that we don't uh, skip out on any fights. Um, let's... Uh, we should probably save our potion, actually. Let's just go to the Pokemon Center. It's only a few steps away, let's not um, be lazy and use our potions. I do want to catch a Pidgey because I think it would just be awesome to have a Pidgeotto and Pidgeot at a later date in the squad. Uh, of course we need a Pokemon that knows Fly and I've always tried to avoid teaching like moves like Surf and Fly to a uh, decent Pokemon. Um, people like, you know, like a Charizard or a Blastoise definitely don't want a Venusaur with a cut. so. We're going to try and have like a HM Pokemon that can do a little bit of everything. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, we know that Pidgey and his line can fly. Um, so that's a good start. That's why we want to get a Pidgey. It's also a good Pokemon uh, for the bugs that we've got coming up in the forest. Rattata. Uh, do we have one of these? No, we don't. Let's get ourselves a Rattata, guys. It's only level 2. Uh, we're not really going to... Actually, I think we did come across one of these in the last episode, and I come to the decision that we weren't going to catch it, because there's going to be plenty of Rattata later in the game, uh, so we'll stick to that. Here we go, this is what we came for, Pidgey, level 4, fantastic. Right, come on, Mankey. Rough him up a little bit. No, don't kill him, just rough him up. Can withstand the gust. I think that ought to do it. Yep, perfect. Now let's just see how willing he is to stay inside the Pokeball. Here we go, guys. One, two, three. Alright. Nice and simple. We got ourselves a Pidgey. New Pokedex data. Loving, loving, loving life. He's one foot tall, four pounds, very docile, 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 I, I don't know how to say that, don't know what it means either. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. Uh, no nicknames as of yet. Okay, we got more, oh, really? Really? Pidgey, we we're done with you, Pidgey, we don't need you anymore. We got a level four, Pidgey. Try not to let Mankey die, hopefully he can withstand the gust and finish it off, but... Oh, it's going to be close. 
Oh, it is going to be really close. Okay, in that case, let's use Nidoran. It's only a level 2, so... It may even still lose this fight. <laughs> i got a feeling Pidgey's going to be quicker than it as well, so hopefully... It's not a critical hit. Good, it can get a shot in. Oh, that just won't do. Okay. Well, it gets a share of the XP. Uh, let's send out Big Brother. Let's send out the male little ram to finish this fight off. A three Pokemon switch for a level three Pidgey. Really? Come on, little ram, step your game up. Man, this Pidgey must have some real high speed. What? Oh, there we go, double tackle. If we withstand this gust, we should be able to take Pidgey down. No! Pidgey went first! Our first Pokemon has fainted. I feel bad. A level 3 Pidgey, are you shitting me right now? Let's fight Pidgey with Pidgey. Pidgey used Gust. There we go, the whole squad's gonna get a bit, except for Pikachu. Maggie got 7, Nidoran got 7, Pidgey got 7. Big points there, guys, big points. Right, Pokemon Center time. The one thing I didn't do was any, I didn't do any training. Um, in fact, what I might do is just do a little bit of grafting and then we'll cut back in at this Pokemon Center. So, bear with me guys. Just finish healing, I won't catch anything, just gonna do a little bit of training. And I'll be, I will be, I will be right back. Okay guys, so, it took a little lot, a little while, uh, but it was well worth it. Let's take a look. Pikachu level 10, Pidgey level 9, Mankey level 9, and the Nidoran twins both sat on level 8. A uh, couple things I think I've got to show you. Uh, when Pikachu already had Thunder Wave, so nothing new there. Uh, I'm not sure, I think Pidgey learned Sand Attack while I was leveling him up. Uh, Mankey definitely learned... Uh, low kick right there, which is going to be really helpful in the, the first gym fight with Brock as it's a fighting move, so that is good. Uh, Nidoran male learned horn attack, which is a pretty strong move for a uh, low level Pokemon. And then female Nidoran learned scratch, which is pretty much the same kind of damage as tackle, and it's just a normal move, but um, still, the squad is leveling up nicely. Uh, let's go carry on and see what we can find. Now, while I was leveling up over here, I did bump into the Pokemon that we spent a little while looking for in the previous episode, and that was, of course, that Spearow. Now, I must have beat four or five leveling up over here, but that was over the span of like an hour, so hopefully we can uh, bump into one pretty quickly here. Um, and add him to our team because I don't want to miss out on Spearow only because it's just awesome to be able to get Pokemon as soon as possible, right guys? Uh, Pikachu, we're going to leave him up front we don't need to worry about leveling up anymore at the moment we got, got a pretty good squad we just want to try and catch Spearow and then we can move on guys, so let's say 5 attempts from now, I reckon that that's fair time-wise. So, we won't count the round. We're going to do the next five attempts, or five uh, random appearances. If one is not a Spearow, then we call it a day, we move on with the game. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, one of these Pokemon will be a Spearow. So, number one is Nidoran Female. Level four, where were you last episode when we were looking for you? Pikachu should be able to wipe it out pretty easily. There we go, critical hit. Go, go, Pikachu. Okay, number two, random encounter number two. What do we got? Another Nidoran. Thunder Shock. And that's all she wrote for that Nidoran. I suppose the experience isn't uh, a bad thing. We get extra experience. Uh, number three, lucky number three, male Nidoran. Seems to be a lot of them in this grass, Mankeys, Nidorans, 
Uh, I did have a Rattata. Uh, not sure if it's here or in the other grass, but a Rattata popped up again. Where are you, Spiro? Come on. It's hiding as if it was a legendary bird right now. It's uh, not been seen yet on record. <laughs> two more to go. Number four. Another nether round. Okay, so we've had two females, two males. Let's see. We got one more left. Is it going to be a Spiro or are we going to be uh, let down and we're going to have to wait? Hopefully, it's a Spiro, but. Mm, don't know, guys. Like I said, in about an hour's worth of training, I think I found like four, so. Come on, Spiro. Please be a Spiro. Oh, damn you, Nidoran. Okay. Well, we'll leave that for now, guys. I don't want to waste like a whole lot of time doing it. Nearly one shot at level four Nidoran. That's that's progress. That is progress. Okay, I'm not even going to be. I'm not even worried about going to the Pokemon Center because I'm sure. The team is ready to kick ass, and by kick ass, I mean this right here, guys. We got a match with Kaiba coming up. Kaiba, bring it on. You go into the Pokemon League, forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Well, it's time to find out, Kaiba. I think you're going to be pleasantly displeased with how strong my team is. So he's got Spiro, level 9 in fact, but Pikachu is, as we know, going to take care of this guy super quick, as Thundershock is super effective. Oh, I'm, do you know what, I'm thoroughly surprised he didn't one-shot it. Well, that's the end of Spiro. Super effective, down it goes. 1-1-1 one, one, one experience points, nice. Now, let's see how his Eevee. I'm guessing it's going to be about level 10? Level 8. His Spiro was actually stronger, that's interesting. Uh, let's just plow through it with other shots. Shouldn't take more than a couple turns. That is a pretty cool Eevee though, I, I can't wait to get an Eevee. Tail Whip? Don't you tail whip me. Thundershot. And there we go, our first rematch with Kai, but we didn't even have to use another Pokemon, guys. Pikachu owned this fight. Uh, Pikachu leveled up and is now trying to learn Quick Attack. Fantastic. Uh, so yes, we're going to learn Quick Attack, let you always attack first. And we're just going to get rid of Growl because it's not all that useful, um, even at the beginning of the game like we are. So Pikachu learned Quick Attack, we beat Kaiba, which should mean some more money as well. 280 Poke Dollars, fantastic. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Well, excuse me, Kaiba, but we just kicked your ass. Kaiba wobbles off. We can go a little bit further, and there's another patch of grass here, but uh, we can't actually go into the Pokemon League, so let's just have a little dawdle here, see if we find anything. Mm, maybe a Spearow? Nope, it's a Mankey. Okay, well, I'm not gonna try and find Spiro. I did say in the previous one, in the previous grass, that we uh, weren't gonna waste, you know, a whole lot of time. So, bye bye Mankey, it's time to go into the forest. I can't even remember what it's called, I had to just call it the forest. Is it called like Viridian Forest or something like that? Let's go find out. We take a quick trip to the Pokemon Center to make sure we're fully healed. And then we're going to go catch ourselves some bug Pokemon, guys. Uh, we should have enough to just grab a couple more Pokeballs. So we'll do that as well. Jump in, Pikachu. Nurse Joy and Chansey there. Ding, 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 ding. Pokemon are fighting fit. Fantastic. Right. Hope to see you again. You sure will, Nurse Joy. Let's just make a quick trip into the Pokemon, see if we can get even just one more Pokeball. Everyone helps, right? Uh, 455 means we can get two more. We'll take them. Bada boom. Right, guys, let's head out into the forest. So we want to go straight up here. 
The old man previously wouldn't let us through, but uh, we didn't actually try to squeeze through, so it's okay. Uh, I think the grass just over here somewhere is just like um, Pidgeys, Ranatars, etc. So we're not too worried, like I said, about anything there. This is what we came for right here, guys. Yes, Viridian Forest, that's right. It's not a maze, that's, that's absolute bull. Look for other types outside of Viridian Forest. Right, here we go, guys. Viridian Forest. Trainer tips. Weaken Pokemon before attempting to capture. When healthy, they may escape. Okay, so I think there is actually some trainers that we can uh, fight in Viridian Forest other than Kaiba, which is awesome. It means our first Pokemon fights. Do you have Pikachu? We sure do. She wants to see it in action. Lass wants to fight. Come on then, Lass. Female Nidoran, level 6. No match. For the almighty Thunder God, Pikachu. Oh, taking a tackle like a boss. It only took 3 HP. Pikachu's been hitting that gym, guys. Nidoran fainted, 75 XP. Uh, she's going for another Nidoran, so let's switch out. Let's give Mankey a go. Let's check out Mankey's low kick. Oh, bro, Mankey. Versus Bro Nidoran. Low kick. Not very effective against him. Okay, but uh, we still got chicken out, so. It still does quite a bit of damage for a move that's not very effective. Ow, oh, yeah, of course, it makes him flinch as well. Or well, has a chance to make him flinch, so that's another little bonus. Nidoran fainted. And Mankey gets the experience. Oh, no. Really? 90 Poké Dollars for winning. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, we want to go to the right, but before we do, uh, we're going to go pick this item up. It'll be something like an Antidote or something like that. Level 6 Pidgey. Can we one-shot it? Oh, of course we can. It's super effective. Down goes Pidgey. I tell you what, let's make a little switch. We've got Pikachu in the party. Pikachu's our strongest. Uh, let's go for like... Male Nidoran. Let's let's do that. Pokeball, fantastic. Saves us 200 Poke Dollars. And there we go, our first new Pokemon of this episode, guys. A level 3 Caterpie. Nice and green. So we're not going to hit it with a horn attack. We don't want to kill it. We're going to weaken it and we're going to try and catch it. Okay, we missed and his attack failed. That's a great start. There we go, Tackle takes it nicely into the um, lower half of its health. Time for that Pokeball. One, two, all right. Pokeball goes green, green for go, go, Caterpie. You know what that means, right, guys? That means that Butterfree is going to be in our team at some point. No nickname for Caterpie, let's carry on. I wonder if you can get Weedle in here, too so that you can get both lines of the bugs. I would have thought so. I remember on red and blue, uh, you could either get um, Weedle in one, and Kakuna and Beedrill, etc., or you could get Canopy and that line in the other game. Metapod, we would love to catch you, but unfortunately, I'm more interested in involving Canopy. So we're just going to have to take it down for a bit of experience. Down goes level 4 Metapod. 41 experience, that's not a like bad haul from the wild Pokemon. Uh, nothing over here. Are you a trainer battle? I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. Way ahead of you, bro. So we could go straight up, we're going to go around. You have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. You're on, bro. Bring it on. What do you got? Bugcatcher wants to fight. Fantastic. So he's going to have a whole school of Canopy. Level 7 Canopy. He's just lucky we don't have any fire Pokemon right now. Uh, but we do have a pretty strong Nidoran. Dive in with a horn attack. And again. One, two, 
One more will do it. Seventy-nine experience for Moon Around. Fantastic. Level nine. All roll. Okay, this time we're gonna switch out, and we're gonna go. Look at Canopy's uh, icon. Look at his little. I don't know what you call that emoji. Sprite. That's that is really weird. <laughs> time to bring out the sister. We gotta try and keep our team nice and level, uh, like. Like an average level, we don't want to be stretching out too high with one Pokemon. Okay, this looks like it's going to be Battle with the Tackles. We should win, because Canopy's going to use a uh, String Shot and shit like that, but... And we are a level stronger, so I don't see why we shouldn't win this fight. Nidoran's speed fell. Okay, he's under halfway. Come on, little blue splodge. Uh, Nidoran kept doing this while I was training her as well. She kept missing the, um, kept missing her tackles. There we go, pulls through. 79 for female Nidoran. Nidoran, and she jumps to level 9. Fantastic. Old RPG defeated Bugcatcher. Academy can't cut it. Seventy dollars for winning. Let's have one more little switch. It's time to put Pidgey front and center. We got our first full squad, guys. Our first full six Pokemon. Super duper cool. So we're gonna head up this side, around the back of this bug catcher. Another Metapod. Level six as well. He's only. He's quite a strong level for a Metapod. We're gonna gust him out. He can harder than all he wants. It's not gonna withstand our tornado gust. Oh, okay, maybe he will. <laughs> Come on, Pidgey, take him out. There we go. 61 experience points for Pidgey. What item have we got here? We got a potion. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's keep going. I don't think there's much else to catch in here. There might be a Weedle around. Um, we will have a little look, but other than that, I don't think there is much else that you can catch in here. We might bump into like a Rattata or something, but... I think Caterpie and Metapod are the main ones that you're going to bump into here. Like I said, there may be a Weedle. We will have a little look. Level up for Pidgey. Fantastic. we got another Pokemon battle coming up as well, guys. Oh my god, look at this! A wild Pidgeotto, level 9. Wow. that That is pretty awesome. Can Pidgey take down its evolved version? Pidgeotto looks uh, uh, still one of my favorite Pokemon. Looks awesome. It's pretty strong as well. Level 9 Pidgeotto. Come on, little Pidgey. Sizes and everything. He may be higher up the evolution line. But you're part of Team Subscriber. <gasps> No, no, no! Oh, we're in our critical health. And down goes the Pidgey, oh no! Get in there, Pidgey. 145 well-earned points. Pikachu, what do you say about that? Hell yeah! Pikachu is real fucking happy. Good. Um, we're not going to waste a potion on Pidgey, uh, but we are going to switch just over to Pikachu to make sure we make it through this fight with no hiccups. There was a couple of trainers that we avoided, but um, it's not an issue. It's not an issue, guys. We're on the home stretch of the forest now. Of course, he's got a canopy. He's a bug catcher. Okay, Pikachu, hit him with a quick attack. Critical hit. 
Thundershock Pikachu, Thundershock. Oh yeah, Thundershock was a hell of a lot more uh, damage dealing right there. Quick Attack will finish him off though. Down goes Canopy. And of course, more bugs. Uh, shall we change? Do you know what? Let's change it. Let's go for... Let's put our own Canopy out. I'm pretty sure Metapod's only going to use like Harden, so... I'm not going to spend like half an hour trying to kill it with a level 3 Canopy, but... We can send him out to... Oh shit, in those tackle. Okay, that was, that was poor. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean about half an hour to kill it? Let's get Mel Nidoran out there. Pawn the tackle and take it down quite quickly. See, if you catch it in the wild as a Metapod, I'm pretty sure it only knows Harden, which makes it like near impossible to level up. Um, you have to like keep putting it out first, switching it out for somebody who can attack. But if you evolve it from a Caterpie, it obviously keeps the tackle move and then it can fight for itself. It's pretty high defense, um, and it can bolster itself with Harden, of course, so it's actually a lot easier to level up Metapod if you evolve it to a Metapod from a Caterpie. Keep that in mind, guys, if you ever play this again. Of course, this is like ultra basic, way back in the day Pokemon, so I probably shouldn't be giving out too many tips. <laughs> you guys should know this if you're a Poke fan. There we go, down goes Metapod. That's that fight, wrapped up and in the bag. Canopy grew to level 4, that was the uh, idea of putting him out there. Old RPG defeat, bug catcher. $80. Fantastic. Right, we're not too far away now. I think we just gotta go up, left, down, left, up. I think. Make. Quick work of him, Pikachu. Pikachu grew to level 12. Awesome. Look at Pikachu. Pikachu's on a roll, guys. I wonder if you could actually find a Butterfree. Like, the final evolution. I wonder if you could, like a level 7, level 8 Butterfree or something. Would be interesting to see if we could do that. I'm not going to spend, like any time looking for it, but, you know, we did bump into a Pidgeotto, it was pretty cool. Level 6 Pidgey, you're going down one hit, no doubt. Thunder shot. Pikachu is just such an awesome Pokemon, guys. Oh, the battles are coming in thick and fast. Another Metapod. Should take him down one shot? Yeah, fantastic. But triple his level, so I should hope so. <laughs> Another Metapod level 4. This place is just full of these little green dudes. Okay, so we're at the exit. Let's pick up this item. Uh, we found a potion. Cool. May need it later. This is the last little stretch here. There's one more battle to do. And if I remember rightly, it might not have been this version of the game, so could be right, I could be wrong. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say, I think I remember this guy having like five Caterpies or something stupid like that. Like ridiculously low level, but five nonetheless. So. What I'm thinking is if we put our canopy out again, switch him out straight away for Pikachu, do it for every one, we might be able to get him to level 5. Let's see if I'm right. What has he got? It is a bug catcher. Oh, and he's just got one Pokemon. Okay. Well, it's a level 10 canopy. We don't really have any chance with our level 4, especially not with 4 HP. So we switch, switch straight back out to Pikachu. Finish him off, and we should get a little bit of experience for our canopy. I must have been thinking of a different version of the game. There's so many. I mean, you got to remember, yellow, 
Red, yellow and blue are all based in the same world, in Kanto. Um, fire red, leaf green also, basically a remix of red and blue. There we go, Canopy grew to level 5. Pikachu gained experience, and we picked up... Uh, I'll give you, you're good at this. $100, there we go. Okay, awesome. Let's exit Viridian Forest, guys. We made short work of that little forest. Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. That they can, it's called cut. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Well, I know for a fact that if we go start hunting in the cave, we're going to be just running into Zubat of the Zubat of the Zubat. <laughs> Let's see if we can find anything new here, guys, before we enter Viridian City. Is it Viridian City or is it Pewter City? We'll find out in just a minute. Um, completely forgot the canopy was still in the front. Mankey, do your thing. Whoop whoop, go Mankey. Hit him with a low kick. I know it's not very effective, but it's just so cool. Critical hit, and still took him out. A little bit more experience for Canopy. Right guys, let's just go onto the map because I can't for love nor money remember the name of these places. Pewter City, there we go. So this is the first uh, place where we're going to have a gym battle that is going to be in the next episode. Uh, so we're going to save it right here in the Pokemon Center. I'll do a tiny little bit of training. Um, and then yeah, in the next episode we will... I'll try and get the Pokemon to the level before they evolve. That way, the next episode will have a gym battle, it will have evolutions, it's going to be super cool. Make sure you don't miss it. If you've enjoyed this episode, then remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and thank you as always for watching guys. See you soon.